Hello. Hi, everybody. Look, Dusty, mm. I'm wearing the shirt from our first video. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's got to be old. It feels like eight years old by now. It does feel like that. grateful means is it when you uh like when you have a spaghetti and you need the cheese but you don't want just big slices of cheese so you gotta grateful that thing yeah sure well, I you gotta grateful the cheese all over your pasta <laughs> but i am grateful for cheese most of the time grateful means being thankful for something like the way you say thank you if your grown-up gives you something to drink or holds the door for you but we wake up every day and we feel that Ooh. thankfulness inside our hearts do you feel like you feel that every day <laughs> well, some days are yeah. better than others. I think that's really true. Yeah. Some days are better than others. But I have a book that's all about being grateful all the days of the year. Not just this week or, or maybe around the holidays, but every single season of the year. Oh, boy. Do you want to read it? With yeah, me? please. I would be so grateful if you read that to me. <laughs> nice, Dusty. This book is inspired by the Cherokee people. Do you know who they are? Uh, no. They're Native Americans that lived on this land before your family came here or mine. Oh, so they didn't come on boats. They were here already? They were. And they loved the land even more than you and I do, oh, Dusty. Oh, boy, that's a lot. We Are Grateful, Ochalia Liga, written by Tracy Sorrell and illustrated by Frené Lessig. Cherokee people say Ojali Haliga to express gratitude. It is a reminder to celebrate our blessings and reflect on struggles daily, throughout the year, and across the seasons. Uligo Hasti, fall. My favorite. When cool breezes blow and leaves fall, we say Ojali Haliga. Ojali Haliga. Shell shakers dance all night around the fire, and burnt cedars scent drift upward during the great moon ceremony. As we clean our houses, wear new clothes, enjoy a feast, and forget old quarrels to welcome the Cherokee New Year. Those shell shakers are party animals! While we collect buckbrush and honeysuckle to weave baskets, to remember our ancestors who suffered hardship and loss on the Trail of Tears, and have hope as our Alisi grandma cradles the newest member of the family and reveals his Cherokee name. I wonder if his Cherokee name is Dusty. Gola, winter. As bears sleep deep and snow blankets the ground, we say, Ochali Haliga. While elders share stories and we savor buttery bean bread and steamy hominy soup. How many soups do you think they got on that table? <laughs> okay, okay, back to the story. When we feed our animal and bird friends, as older children teach the younger ones how to make corn husk dolls and play cane flutes. While we gather to remember an uncle who has passed on, as men cuddle babies and sing traditional lullabies in Jaliki, Cherokee. Gogei, spring. When showers spill streams and shoots spring up, we say, O Chali Haliga. O Chali Haliga. When men sing, asking for thunder and lightning's protection of the emerging sprouts that women tend. As we gather wild onions, spring's first food, and serve them with hen's eggs. As we practice patience to sew pucker toe moccasins and coil clay to build beautiful pots. As we plant ani, strawberries, an ancestral story's sweet smelling reminder not to argue with each other. As we embrace a clan relative heading off to serve our country. Gogi, summer, my favorite. 
As the crops mature and the sun scorches, we say, O Tali Haliga. When we grasp our gigs and wade into the cool creek to catch crawdads for supper, as we sink our teeth into the season's first harvest at the green corn ceremony, while we click clack sticks, chase a small ball, and fling it high at the stick ball game pole. Ooh, Dot, I want some crawdads for supper. Are you sure, Dusty? They're like little lobsters. Uh, never mind. That sounds too hard. Let's just get pizza. When we recall the ancestors' sacrifices to preserve our way of life, to celebrate Nulista Nidola, history, and listen to our tribal leaders speak at Cherokee National Holiday. Hey, Doc, can I read this page? Sure, does. Go ahead. Okay. Every day, every season, O Chali Haliga, we are grateful. I am so inspired by that book, Dusty. It's going to stay with me all week. Yeah, hey, hey, Doc, are there other uh, tribes like the Cherokee? There are, Dust. Up here in upstate New York, the tribe that is closest to us, they're our neighbors. They are the Onondaga people. Mm. And you know what Onondaga means? Mm -mm. It means people of the hills because it's so hilly here. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, even when I go for a walk, you got to bring a water or something. It's, it's like a workout every single time. Hey, friends, maybe you and your grown-ups this week, you can find out which Native American tribe is closest to you. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. And let us know. Okay, friends, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Hey, I'm grateful for you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.